Antarctica. Beautiful. Peaceful. Tranquil. Magical. This natural wonderland is home to some of the world's most beautiful animals. Penguins. Seals. Whales, rats, mice, rabbits, cats. Why, yes, you're right. Those last ones aren't native, just man's gift to the wildlife of Antarctica. Antarctica is a popular tourist destination because it is one of the coldest, windiest continents on Earth. Want to experience the cold? Go ice skating. Want wind? Turn on a fan. In Antarctica, time literally means nothing as there are no time zones there. Want to truly forget time? Take the batteries out of your clock. In Antarctica, there is a volcano that spits ice crystals. Want to watch something spit ice? Watch Frozen. Just because Antarctica is a natural wonder does not mean that it should be exploited for tourism gain. The longer we abuse its benefits, the less time we will have to enjoy it. So please, choose another destination. There are so many winter wonderlands to visit. Why ruin this one? Now for a message on pollution in Antarctica from Cathy Conlon, a marine biologist with the Canadian Museum of Nature. I'm Kathy Conlon and I'm a marine biologist at the Canadian Museum of Nature. My specialty is the marine life that lives on the seafloor in the Antarctic. A number of scientists have been concerned about the research stations that go in around the Antarctic. They have to get rid of their sewage somehow and a lot of them are dumping it right into the ocean. out that McMurdo Station was doing was they were dumping their raw sewage at about 60 foot depth. We were able to dive down to that depth so we did all our, our studies by uh, scuba diving. We have to either blast a hole in the ice or drill a hole in the ice. It's kind of like twilight and it's like a moon up above you because when you're in the water it's all neon blue with the sun shining through it. It's very beautiful. And then once we get to the bottom, it's just full of animals. There's sponges and there's stars and there's sea urchins and there's long ribbon worms and, and uh, soft corals that look like little stars. We study the little animals that live mostly in the sediment because they're the ones that don't move around very much. So once we've taken our samples, and we just use a coffee can core because we, it's um, easy to handle and we can put a lid on it. We take six and we take our samples back to the aquarium and we sieve the samples. We count the animals and we have to identify them. In one sample, there could be 50 different species and maybe there could be seven or 800 different animals in just our one little sample. What we're looking at is changes in pattern of biodiversity. We can see how the patterns might change that would indicate that recovery is going on. So the impact of this pollution on the biodiversity is that 
Uh, pollution pretty well wipes out most animals. The benefits of studying the impacts of pollution on the marine life are, are clearly that it's important for these stations to have responsibility and not pollute the environment anywhere in the world. I love what I do and I love knowing that my work makes a difference.